Okay, so so far we have had a look at how to trace the logo in Illustrator and uh, also Photoshop. You can also trace your logo within Cinema 4D. The reason I've showed you the other two methods, uh, and I'm going to show you this uh, third method, is that, like I've said already, if you know all three methods, then you can choose which one you prefer and streamline your workflow. Personally, out of the three applications, I prefer the workflow which stays within Cinema 4D from start to finish. So here's how you do that. Um, first of all, we're going to go to the front view. And uh, here I want to press Shift and V to bring up the display attributes of this particular viewport. Then I want to go to the back tab. And uh, under image, I want to browse this and I just want to find the logo and uh, here it is. And uh, that's how you load the image into Cinema 4D. And now we can trace in, the, in front of this. I'm going to go to the back tab again and uh, under transparency here, I want to slide this almost all the way to the end just so the logo is less visible. And when I start tracing on top of this, the lines will be more visible compared to the logo. The tool we're going to use to trace uh, is the Bezier spline, which can be found under the spline menu. And uh, these buttons are a bit small, so let me change the size to something larger. And uh, again, you just uh, pick a starting point. I'm going to start in this corner here and you just start drawing. And this is very similar to how the pen tool works in uh, Illustrator and Photoshop as well. And we can close this off and we can just uh, bring this down, go back across. Let's uh, draw this curve here. And uh, in Cinema 4D, you don't, you don't just break the handles to try and draw a straight line. What you have to do is um, as you're drawing the line, you have to you have to hold shift and that allows you to then control the handle in front. So if we just line this up with uh, this point over here, we can just close this loop off. And uh, that's it for that section. We can uh, click away and start drawing the next bit. So starting with this corner, this is just going to be straight lines. So very simple and straightforward. You may notice also that uh, in Cinema 4D, you do not have the options to make straight lines or diagonal lines. Uh, in Photoshop and Illustrator, you can hold shift and uh, that helps you to draw a 45 degree angle line or a flat line, but you don't have any of that um, in the Cinema 4D. But there are workarounds that we can do later. So let's uh, close this off and we can move on to the other bits. And uh, here I just need to press shift to point that handle in this direction. And let's uh, close this off. And let's uh, draw this curve here. And uh, here's a cool feature. Uh, once you have three of the sides of a particular shape finished and you only have one side open, you can click on the spline and just simply tick close spline and uh, that would just close this up automatically. Now that was a bad place to show that because this handle here needs to be pulled back. But uh, since we're not actively drawing this line, we have to press E with the point selected, uh, press E and then hold shift and now you can change where the handle is pointing. and. Uh, there you go. We can get the Bezier spline for the last time and finish off this section. And uh, by the way, the way I'm moving around uh, side to side and uh, zooming in and out is using the left mouse click and the numbers on my keyboard. So one is for moving around, uh, basically panning, and two is for zooming in and out, and then three is for rotating, but uh, we don't want to tilt our camera angle here. So let me just press Shift, Control and Z to undo that and bring it back to straight. Anyway, I'm going to carry on drawing this. And uh, let me just uh, show you another problem which you may run into. Say you were drawing a section like this and you accidentally click 
away. You can uh, just click back onto the spline and uh, continue your drawing like this. Uh, but say you've actually deselected the tool completely and uh, you actually cannot just pick it up again. You have to go back, get the Bezier spline with your spline selected and press E on the keyboard. You then have to hold control and try and continue drawing your spline. Now this looks a bit crazy here and it's uh, obviously wrong, but uh, I'm going to complete this anyway and uh, also get this curve correct. And you can see this looks completely messed up now, but if you remember, if we press E again and hold shift, we can just uh, bring this back down and uh, do the same over here. That may seem like a lot of unnecessary effort to try and fix that. Uh, I mean, for example, in Illustrator, you would just literally click the point and continue without any problems whatsoever. And uh, I guess this is where it comes down to just experience and uh, personal preference. I don't mind doing all of that just because I know how to do it and I can do it very well. However, for someone who is uh, not a native Cinema 4D user, um, it can be quite annoying. Um, but uh, then again, that's the whole point of the two previous tutorials I just did prior to this one. Choose whichever method you prefer and go with that one. But that concludes this tutorial. Stay tuned for tutorial number three, where we're going to start doing the 3D work.